help me out. <laughs> Karen, I don't know what you've been saying to people, but thank you. You know how many appointments I've set for potential clients this weekend? Oh, my God. That is huge! <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's funny, though. You know, a lot of these women are so needy. You know, a few of them asked if I'd hold them afterwards. <laughs> What is going on? It's, oh my God, if you're about to shed your human form, please don't make my body the next host. <laughs> no, silly. I told everybody you were a whore, and I just want to make sure it sounds like we're having sex in here. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you lost your mind? Yes, 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 yes. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> God, why, why would you spread such a horrible rumor? What if I run around saying, saying Karen Walker flies coach? That would be a damaging lie. <laughs> Help me. Hide me. She's after me. What, what, what's the matter? Does your, your stepdaughter want a hug? <laughs> no, Fruit Loop. Stanley's mother's in town. You gotta let me hide out here. She'll never think to look for me in government-assisted housing. <laughs> she just makes you want to give, doesn't she? I mean, look at me. Shakes and for all the wrong reasons. Karen, I haven't seen you this freaked out since you turned 42. One, 34, two, one. Pretty girl, pretty girl. Karen, wouldn't it be better to just learn to deal with her? I mean, think about it. She's the mother of the man whose, whose bank account you love. That relationship's not gonna go away. I see where you're going with this, Wilma, but... I can't have her whacked. I know it's just a book signing, but I had the hardest time trying to figure out what to wear. I must have changed my shirt like, like eight times. I, I guess I just wanted her to like me. I don't know why. What are you doing? No, oh, I can't remember which one of these I put the booze behind. Karen, this isn't your home. This is oh, a public... Here we go. Ah, yes. Right here in self-help. You're doing very well. Oh, honey, I love driving. It's exhilarating. <laughs> Let's take her up. <laughs> Karen, this isn't a flying car. It is when you smoke as much as I have. <laughs> just concentrate on the road. You're doing just fine. But give it a little more gas. Okay, now heads up. Next block, there's a woman with a baby carriage. I'm on it! No, 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 sir, no! Here he comes, reel it in. Point is, I never did nothing, and you don't know nothing about nothing, you got me? You know how fast you were going? How could I? I'm inside it. Uh, top search a problem? License and registration, please. Oh, sure, no problem. Need license and registration. <laughs> we're totally off a tool, we won't do it again. You should have seen what she showed customs when they asked for her passport. <laughs> Come on. Hey, 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 don't get all cozy with me, Wilma. I'm still mad at you. You should have told me Stan was getting out of the hooskow. Hey, who knew he was going to cut some deal with the feds? The only reason I found out was I saw the full page ad in the New York Times. Welcome back, Stan. Love your friends at Pizza Hut. <laughs> but he didn't find out about your affair, did he? No. Thank God my boobs are like arms. <laughs> I was able to distract Stan with one of them while the other one motioned for Lionel to get out the door. Good morning, Vest. <laughs> uh, mine's the tan Camry with the scratch on the side. <laughs> This 
is totally now. It's very Master and Commander of the Far Side of the World. I like it. It's a choice. Yes, but did you have to choose to be a lesbian comedian circa 1986? <laughs> Ladies, am I right? <laughs> these days, gay or straight? Wait, 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 wait. Let me do a little test. Okay. There's a penis and a vagina in a tent, and it's on fire. Which do you say? Why are they in a tent? <laughs> Honey, I'm trying to do you a favor. I want to set you up with my cousin, Barry. Uh, what? Why him? Why not me? Will's hideous. No, you're not. He's gross. Not really. People flee from him. Not everyone. <laughs> Will needs it more than you do. He's desperate. Hey, I resent that. Cute and desperate. Thank you. <laughs> now listen to me. Barry is a great guy. Honey, he's smart. He's handsome. Oh, he makes the greatest German dill potato salad for family picnics. Dill? That's his best quality? He uses dill? All right, I'll go out with him. <laughs> You're meeting him tonight at 8 at the Sherry Bar. And wear something tight. You got good stuff in there. Hey, I just got off the phone with my dad. He's come to town on business for a few days. So I thought we could all have dinner Friday night. I'm busy Friday. How's Friday? That's good. Good. <laughs> oh, um, Grace, keep Sunday and Monday open. Okie dokie, artichoke. And never say that again. And Karen, my dad would really like to meet you. It would mean so much to me if you'd join us. Honey, that is so sweet. No. <laughs> Works every time. Come on, Karen, we have to go over your household finances. Right. What did I do wrong now? You are spending way too much. And as your lawyer, I gotta warn you, it's not gonna last forever. When will it run out? In three or four hundred years. <laughs> Still, you could cut down. I mean, now, now that Stan's gone, do you really need pastry chef or mustard spreader? Or pants hoister? Well, I guess I could get rid of pastry chef. He makes these weird brownies that don't make me paranoid. I'm a lawyer, which means that unlike you, I have passed a bar. <laughs> my job, essentially, honey, is... Honey, I often ask a lot of people on my staff to do different things. Cook sometimes cleans, cleaner sometimes cooks. Driver sometimes provides an alibi. <laughs> we all pitch in. Right, but the difference is that those people live in the palace and serve only the evil queen. <laughs> Whereas lawyer works not only for her, but for many of the villagers as well. Oh. You understand now why I don't have time to fix your fax machine? No, I. <laughs> let, me, let me try to explain this in, in terms you'll understand. I'm Tequila. Oh, I'm liking this story better already. <laughs> These are my friends, gin, vodka, and scotch. Hello, Karen. <laughs> Hiya, kids. <laughs> now, you've got an emergency. Mm -hmm. You want a Bloody Mary, you've poured yourself a thimble of tomato juice. Who are you gonna call? Me, Tequila? Well, this is crazy talk, I want my vodka. <laughs> exactly. So from now on, you only call tequila when you have a legal problem. Okay, I get it now. You're coming in loud and queer. I hope I don't have any regrets like that when I'm 75. I know. How do you deal with it, Karen? Uh, no, Wilma. I have so much money. <laughs> You get nothing to worry about. Just because Rosario and Jack got divorced does not mean they can take away her green card. Oh, honey, could you open this for me? Sure. So, yeah. where are the INS guys? Oh, uh, gone. I took care of it. What do you mean you took care of it? Well, all right, you caught me. I just wanted you to open up that jar of olives. <laughs> you what? But, but, I, t I talked to an INS agent. Oh, honey, that was Gardner. He used to be on Dark Shadows. He's good, huh? <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Well, the first time I 
did it. I did it because I really needed somebody to help me, but this time I just did it for entertainment. <laughs> what happened? Did your cable go out? Did you, did you lose the stick you used to poke bears at the zoo? No, honey, it's right here. <laughs> Okay, you've, you've had your little laugh, but this is the last time you were ever going to trick me into doing anything for you. Okay, could you get the lights? Sure. Damn it! We're up next, okay? So, so let me do the talking. Don't do anything disruptive. Give me the booze. Oh. And the pills. <laughs> and the pills. <laughs> and the pills. <laughs> And the whoopee cushion. Well, if you take my whoopee cushion, how am I supposed to do my Inherit the Wind gag? For the last time, no Inherit the Wind gag, and no telling the judge to keep it in his robe. Boy, I cannot wait to humiliate that smug cop in that courtroom. Just rub his nose in his mistake and laugh as he walks out of there with his tail between his legs. Are you angry? Mad much? <laughs> Vending machines. I've been jonesing for a score bar all day. There you are. Get lost, Wilma. Thanks to you, I've got all these awful memories flooding back. My dog getting hit by a car. My three-legged dog getting hit by a slower car. My dog on a little cart. Rolling under a school bus. Look, as hard as it is to remember these things, dealing with them is how you heal. Was this all the same dog? <laughs> why, why wasn't he on a leash? Deal with things? Who are you to talk about dealing with things? What do you mean? I deal. Oh, please, you're zipped up, tired, and Star Jones in a... Well... Really, anything with a zipper. <laughs> That's why you spend all of your time fixing everybody else's problems so you don't have to look at your own. That's crap. Really? <laughs> why don't we take a few little bricks out of Will's wall, huh? Go ahead. But you're not going to find anything back there. Because when something comes into my life, I tend to it, then move on. So you don't keep the remnants of your career back there? I quit my job to do something meaningful. How's that going for you? It takes time to find the right thing. Well, apparently that applies to boyfriends, too, because the only man that you've had a successful relationship with is Grace. I've had tons of successful relationships. That all ended. Successfully? <laughs> you've got it all figured out, Will. Because if I were you, I'd be worried. Oh, yeah? Well, don't be. Because what I have is a fresh start. It's exciting, actually. You know, I'm, I, I'm unemployed, I'm single, I'm 41. The world is, is my... Oh, just put me on a little cart and roll me under a school bus. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? How could you have sex with her? You're gay. Uh, I don't believe in gay or straight. I refuse to limit pleasure. I like to think of myself as pansexual. Oh my God, he's been humping my pants. <laughs> pansexual? Isn't that just a, a rest stop on the highway to homo? <laughs> Open your mind. Sexuality is elastic. Look, we're all here. We're all human. We're all sex. Now, I've been with both of you. And it was fantastic. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> so can you imagine how much better it would be if we were all together? Oh, no, 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 no. No, if I had to have sex with a woman, it would be Hillary Swank or Tobey Maguire. Oh, honey, I would love to have sex with two men, but one man and Will, no. <laughs> about you're trying to get Stan as a client. Are you working me, Wilma? <laughs> All right.
right. I, I admit it, I'm, I'm a little desperate. I, I, I have to land a high-profile client by tomorrow. Is there any way you could set up a meeting? This is the meeting. You want anything to do with Walker, Inc., you gotta go through Mrs. Inc. <laughs> so, how badly do you want it? Very badly. Badly enough to suck that peanut off the table? <laughs> Karen, I'm not gonna... Suck it! There is no... Suck it! God, I hope that was a peanut. Okay, what do you say? I say you didn't get on that peanut fast oh, enough. Oh, come on! What is it gonna take? Excuse me. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special treat this evening. Yes. The menthol cool stylings of Mr. Will Truman. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. I honestly love you in a high key. Could, could, check, please. Can I get the check? You want to be my lawyer? Then sing me a love song and make me believe it. Baby, you are out of your mind. If you, if you think I'm going to stand here, maybe I hang around here a little more than I should. Both know I got somewhere else to go. On the piano and put a little Michelle Pfeiffer in it. I got something to tell you. I never thought I would. But I believe you really ought to know. Arch your back and lick your lips. I love you. I honestly love you. Okay, I'm starting to buy it. Now make him believe it. You don't have to end. Oh, that's it. It's time to end this event with the traditional spotlight dance led by our hosts, Karen Walker and her husband. Oh, wait, no. He's in the big house. Everything's a big house to you. <laughs> but she brought somebody else. Oh, wait, no, he's not here either. I guess it's just gonna be Karen Walker. Can we get a spot on this sad little lady? All right, Thumbelina, you got me. I'm all by myself, okay? Everybody happy? Karen Walker is all alone. Oh, no, she's not. <laughs> she's got a drink in both hands, probably one in her purse, <laughs> and she's got me. May I have this dance? Thanks, honey. Why'd you come back? Who else are you gonna count on? <laughs> so they really think I'm a gigolo? Yeah. Let's give them something to talk about. Grace married you. <laughs> Honey, I don't know what we're gonna do about Jack. What's there talking about? He's a grown man. He's just gonna have to accept the fact that we're friends. <laughs> what? <laughs> Honey, you called us friends. <laughs> well, we are friends. Oh, 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 that's rich. Come on. A friend is someone you gossip about and make out with when their husband in the hospital. <laughs> we just read the same book. <laughs> what, we, were, we were hanging out, having fun. You showed me your boobs. Honey, I show everyone my boobs. Okay? I showed Ed Koch my boobs at Starbucks the other day. Back off, Desperado! Well, maybe you were too boozed out to notice, but we had a relationship going. Save it, lady! I wouldn't be friends with you if you were the last woman even trying to be friends with you anyway. No matter how many uppers you take, you're still a downer. Yeah. Bitch. Witch. Ho. Mo. 